everybody so I just wanted to get on here real quick and add on one extra step to what I did yesterday so yesterday I did the clinch knot right now I'm going to show you guys the improved clinch knot so the improved clinch knot is literally the same thing as yesterday but just one extra step to increase effectiveness the only reason I did two separate videos is because I wanted you guys to get the hang of the clinch knot which is still an effective knot but the improved one it just increases effectiveness so like I said, I just want you guys to get the hang of it first before I start adding in a bunch of extra steps or really just one extra step, but it can get confusing at first. So just want you guys to get the hang of it first. But now hopefully that you guys have the hang of it, we can add on that extra step and we can increase your effectiveness of your knots. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it with the barrel swivel. I'm going to show you guys both on braid and leader like I did yesterday, and then we'll keep it short and sweet for you. So I'm going to take my braid. And I'm gonna take my barrel swivel. I'm gonna feed the braid through, give myself a couple inches, all right? So, now I'm going to pinch the top right here, right above the barrel swivel. I'm gonna pinch it, okay? So now I'm gonna start wrapping around where I pinched it, leaving myself some space, okay? We're gonna need that space once again to feed the tag end through and lock the knot, so. We're going to wrap it around. I'm gonna go about eight or 10 times on my braid. So I'm gonna wrap around where I have it pinched. So we're wrapping the tag end around the main line eight or 10 times. So wrap, oops, wrap, 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 wrap. I have to say, if you used to make friendship bracelets, you probably can do this, but I'm gonna assume that most of you guys did not make friendship bracelets like I did when I was growing up. Anyways, so now I have my tag end after I wrapped it around a bunch of times, I'm gonna feed my tag end through the loop that I left for myself, okay? So, yesterday, we ended it right here, okay? We're not gonna end it right here this time around. We're not gonna end it through that loop. We created another loop for ourselves, this right here, okay? We're gonna take that tag end and we're gonna feed it through that loop now that we made. That second loop. So now it's gonna go around two loops instead of one. So now I'm gonna hold my tag end and I'm gonna pull up on my main line and I'm gonna pull down on the barrel swivel. And there you go. You got your improved clinch knot. So it's just one extra step. It can get a little confusing, um, but I think you guys should get the hang of it. So I'm gonna clip my tag ends off and I'm gonna show you guys with leader. Like I said yesterday, it's a lot easier if you practice on leader. So just go ahead and do it if you got it. So I just like to test it out. Once again, I like to do a little hook test. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys on leader. So, oops. So, we're going to take our leader, we're gonna feed it through, we give ourselves a couple inches, we only need about like three or four inches, don't need to lie about inches here, we're not trying to impress anybody, so. <laughs> And I was talking about fish, okay? So I'm gonna pinch right above the barrel swivel. I'm gonna do this sideways so hopefully you guys can see it better. And I'm just gonna give myself extra um, tag end just so you guys can see it a little bit better. And that way you can practice. So pinch it right here, okay? I'm gonna take our tag end, wrap around the, above the pinch. We're gonna wrap around the main line. I'm only gonna go about like four or five times on here with the leader. You don't really need to go that many times. So I'm going to feed it through that space I left for myself, just like we did yesterday. So like I said, again, that you're not gonna end it right here like we did on the clinch knot. Normally we would, but just a regular clinch knot, but with the improved clinch knot, you're gonna take that tag again, and now you have this loop left before you end it. You're gonna feed the tag again through that loop. So I'm gonna take the tag in with my mouth because it's just easier for me to grip. I'm gonna take the tag in and I'm gonna pull out on the main line and pull on the barrel swivel. And there we go. You got your improved clinch knot. 
very simple. So don't get confused. It's very, very simple. It's just one extra step. Go ahead and practice on leader. And I will say that you should wet the line a little bit, um, whether it's with your mouth, whether it's with- I'll do for real though, like what that mouth do? I can like eat and then sometimes I like drink water. Or um, salt water, fresh water, whatever you're around. Um, it does reduce friction on the line, especially with braid or heavier pound test. So just keep that in mind. It's always good to wet the line. I just didn't do it because I'm not really going fishing right now. I'm kind of stuck quarantine. So anyways, I hope that uh, helped you guys. I hope that was easy and I'll see you guys soon. All right, bye.